Hi there, and thank you for stopping by to share with Julie today. I hope you're having a fantabulous day today. In today's video, I am looking at folic acid. Folic acid. Well, I was, I mean, it crossed my mind to talk about folic acid some time ago, but I had so many different things that I wanted to do, so I just kind of, it was just kind of on the back burner, so to speak. But I was asked a question, and even though the question was not about folic acid, it was mentioned, and I figured, you know what? Now you should talk about folic uh, acid. So, what is folic acid? Folic acid is the synthetic form of vitamin B9. So vitamin B9, also known as folate, folate is the, the vitamin B9 that is derived from foods. That's the one that is found in food, in the plant foods. That is folate. The folic acid is the synthetic form of the vitamin. So is folate and folic acid the same thing? No. Folic acid and folate are not the same things. Doctors usually use them interchangeably, usually use the terms interchangeably, but they are not the same. They are not the same. They don't have the same effect on the body because of course one is synthetic and one is natural. So why do we need folate? Some of the things that have been attributed to folate includes, you know, um, contribution to cardiovascular health, um, reproductive health, the production of red blood cell, and also um, the brain and central nervous system support. So these you will see are some um, really um, crucial functions. And so doctors, um, depending on what issues one face, would prescribe folate or fo folic acid um, for their patients. So if folate is so good, what is my problem and so many other people's problem with, you know, especially folate, the synthetic form of the, the vitamin. What's our problem? Well, the first thing is that, you know, it's an isolate. That's the first thing. So whether it is the natural form or the synthetic form, we have to be careful when we take isolates. In nature, nothing comes in isolate. When you eat a food, when you, when you eat a, an orange, when you eat a banana, when you eat some quinoa, you're not just getting one mineral or one vitamin or any, or any particular nutrient just by itself. It comes with several different nutrients in that particular food. And that's how nature has packaged it for you. So, and so it's never good to take anything in isolate. That's the first thing. And I will deal with isolates by themselves in another video so I won't get too much into isolates. The second thing is that it's the synthetic form of the mineral. The body cannot assimilate something that is synthetic. I know we have been told otherwise and we have been given all these um, um, minerals and all these kind of nutrients we have been given in synthetic form and some of us actually think you know what these things do work you know and and but often it's sometimes because of the other things that we are doing um, but taking in these things in the body build tox build up toxicity and the only reason why sometimes we don't feel the effects of it is because we might be taking it in low doses it dosages dosages we might be taking them in low doses and um, doctors like and to um, prescribe it especially for pregnant women and you know and also a lot for people who have um, um, issues with blood disorder for example 
And those are, you know, two of the cases where it is um, largely prescribed. And so, you know, you know, and I'm thinking, especially if you're pregnant and, you know, you're going to bring a child in this world, you want, you don't want, that's not something you want to be taken in your body. Go to the natural source of folate. What are some of the main sources? Your leafy greens, you, your dark leafy greens, you can get folates from those. And folates is also largely found in legumes, um, especially lentil and gabonza bean. You just choose the foods from those that are your preference. Like some people are Dr. Sebi's, Sebi, who stick to Dr. Sebi's food list, might not want lentil, but then they have the option of gobanza bean, you know, and you know, the dark leafy green, you've got those um, option and some other foods, which I will um, list down below. Um, I don't know if I'll get around to writing an article on it today, so I won't promise that I'll, I'll, um, I'll write an article, but on isolates, I think I definitely will, will um, write an article on that. So this is just, you know, to really touch on the issue of isolates one and talk about folic acid because it is so widely prescribed and so many think, people think there is nothing wrong with it. And, you know, so I just wanted to talk ab about that. And as I noted, I'll talk about isolates at another time. And so, I mean, the decision is yours, but the evidence is there. The evidence is there to show that these, this is not good. It's not good. Get your nutrients from your food. And if you still feel, you know what, I want to take this supplement anyway, go for the folate, the plant, the plant, the nutrient that is derived from plants, from foods, you know, go that way. I hope you found this useful. Subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos. Don't forget. Be the change you'd like to see in this world. Have a fantabulous day today. No folic acid. Ta-ta!